his glorious faithfulness. If our gospel be hid, guess what? It's hid to those who are perishing. We need a new countercultural move in California now. It's a far cry from 30 or 40 years ago, right? Homosexuality was still a little bit on the fringe. Um, it was still pretty much isolated in the public sphere to certain urban centers. Consider what's going on today in California. Anyone, whole any wholehearted citizen seeking healing from homosexuality therapeutically, it's now outlawed in California. Last week it was outlawed. But you can't go to a therapist in California. They can't help you. They can't come alongside of you clinically to help you meet your own goal of overcoming homosexuality in the state of California. Jerry Brown has yet to sign it. He will. Just last week, uh, both houses passed a three-person marriage law. Out of gay marriage comes three-person marriages, so the surrogate can be in on the marriage, or the one who had the kid, and now there's two gay men, and so on and so forth. There can be three people in the marriage. Well, that's a great gift to kids. Three distorted people joined in unholy matrimony in the state of California. Think of what this does to kids. Think of the effect of what's going on in our culture. So much different than in my generation. I did a conference a week ago and a 14 year old was waiting. There's a whole line of people, a 14 year old. He, 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 he could have been nine, honestly. And he said to me, um, hey, I'm, I think I'm gay. I've known I've been gay since I was seven, and uh, what do I do? Gay since seven? Acting out since seven? All his friends at 14 gay? I thought, oh God, we need a new counterculture, a new counterculture not those looking for some ideal, some, some dreamy Eden, but people wooed by a loving father who've gone through the fire, facing their own lives, facing their own realities, so appreciative of the wooing, loving God who then opened their eyes to the reality of their lives and said, will you walk with me? Will you follow me now? Will you go the distance with me? Can I trust you with this 14-year-old? Will you be a clear witness? Will you give your life away in the best sense to be a witness to him that might give him a fighting chance to know me more? This is why we do it, people. It's not so people would think, oh, well, you're holy, or I'm going to heaven, man. It's because of that 14-year-old. I want him to have a fighting chance, amen? And you know what? I've actually become good. I am good. Not perfect, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm not so into feeling good. That's not been the legacy of my life and ministry, feeling good. Some good feelings, a lot of clinging to the cross of Jesus Christ with the grace of an amazing wife. Amen. Let's become good.